Hey there folks, today I've got a battle against Magaki of Smogon. Uh, looking at his team, you might immediately realize what his team's all about, but, you know, I'd never seen the strategy before, so it caught me completely by surprise. But let's just get right down to the battle. I kind of predicted him to lead off with Deoxys S, so that's why I let off with my Umbreon, I'm thinking, you know, Deoxys S are so freaking frail, I bet I can one hit KO with a payback. So my opponent does indeed lead off with uh, Deoxys S. And which isn't uber because it's not really needed to be uber this gen. And he's gonna go ahead and taunt me, expecting me to. I don't know, wish? Not exactly sure what he was expecting me to do, but Umbreon usually play some kind of support role. And so I'm just gonna go straight off for the payback. And it actually is only gonna be a two hit KO. I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know, it has to do with the fact that uh, my Umbreon is no longer running the uh, max attack set that it used to back in Gen 4. It actually wasn't max attack, it was just heavily invested in attack. Anyway, payback is not going to even 2 hit KO because he sets up the reflect, and so that means that my opponent's going to get to set up a light screen as well. So he's gotten both screens up, and I'm like, eh, that's okay, you know. Screens are annoying, but my team is fairly stally, and so I'm thinking I can probably stall him out, and it won't be too much of a problem. So I take out Deoxys, and I'm like, sweet, it's all going well so far. Uh, Deoxys is down, I'm up, and my taunt wears off, which is great. My opponent's going to go ahead and send out Smeargle. And so here, like, huh, I have absolutely no idea what Smeargle's going to do. Maybe he's going to spore. I'm really not sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and go for the wish so that I can, you know, pass it off to someone else. He goes for the Shell Smash, and then I realize it is probably a baton pass set. And in fact, I think over his team, and I remember that Espeon, I'm like, crap, it almost certainly is a baton pass set. So, yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and call Mick back here, and I'm gonna go ahead and send out El Kabong because my only hope, really, of stopping this is to set up a, um, is to put him to sleep. Unfortunately, he is going to go ahead and put himself behind a sub, and that's going to completely screw that plan over. He's gonna go ahead and put me to sleep with a spore, indeed he does carry the spore. Apparently this is a standard Smeargle set, which is just so hilarious to think that there's a such thing as a standard Smeargle set. And indeed, here we see the baton pass. So, crap, 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 crap. Um, I'm really hoping for the first turn wake up here, I'm just really, really hoping. Uh, and indeed, I actually get it. So that's amazing. That's really, truly really amazing. And now I'm in a good situation because I'm going to break his sub, which is great, and I will survive at least one hit because of my, um, Pokestat. So go ahead and Ice Beams me. And I'm like, that's okay. I'm going to survive as long as I don't get freeze hatched, and as long as my sleep powder doesn't miss, I should be okay. Gets a crit. Not crit didn't matter. Come on. He was a plus, what, two? Plus four? I lost track. Uh, so sleep powder. Puts him to sleep. Excellent. So now hopefully I can swap out into someone else um, and actually you know, uh, break his uh, baton pass chain. I really wish I had a, a phaser, but I don't. Instead I actually stay in, go for the Giga Drain, hoping that it would do more damage. Turns out that it does about a quarter and no more, so that really sucks for me. Reflect goes down next turn, uh, light screen is going to go down as well, but I don't have that long, so I'm going to go ahead and send out Uchi Koma, and I'm just really hoping that he gets a longer sleep than usual. I'm hoping actually he uh, withdraws his Nido King so that uh, you know, that breaks the baton pass chain. Both screens are down, his tyrant wakes up and goes for the flamethrower. I was really hoping, I mean, this is just a standard Nido King. I don't, I'm not even going to say I was hoping he didn't carry it. This is standard, standard Nido King. Flamethrower is going to one hit KO boosted by sheer force, and he's at plus at least two. I wasn't paying attention to how many shell smashes he'd gotten up, but I am totally and completely screwed over. I'm going to go ahead and send out Ringo here. Uh, obviously he carries the Thunderbolt, but maybe I can survive. I mean, I am a Joe since I am really bulky. Come on, survive, please? So yeah, here comes the Thunderbolt. My health goes down, 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 and I'm dead. Ringo is down, and I'm like, well, crap, what am I going to do to take out this guy? I have no idea. So I send up Pazuzu, who is physically defensive, not specially defensive. He almost, I know he carries the Ice Beam, so I'm really not seeing much of a chance of surviving this, but, you know, gotta do something. Uh, so here comes the Ice Beam. I'm hoping I'll survive, and I totally and completely do not. So I'm getting absolutely wrecked by a Baton Pass team. And, you know, now I've seen him, now I'll know what to look for. Really, there are a ton of things that I could have done differently uh, to break his baton passing chain. Uh, I really should carry Roar on Zapdos, but I'm trying to figure out which move to delete because 
really, I guess Heat Wave is the move to delete there, but I don't know. I like Heat Wave on Zapdos. Uh, Leela is taken out, so yeah, completely wrecking through my entire team. And this is the shortest battle ever. Gonna go ahead and send out Mick, and maybe Mick can take a hit, but if he, even if he can take a hit, I don't know what else I'd do. So here comes the Earth Power, and you know, maybe Mick can survive, maybe not, but it certainly cannot KO T uh, his Nido King at, uh, you know, with just a no boost, not at all boost payback. So here comes the payback. As I said, doesn't really do anything. Earth Power is going to take me out the next turn, and that's really going to be the end of this battle. Um, I mean, I think I might have one more, one more Pokemon left, depending based on how much time I... Yeah, so I've got one le Pokemon left. It's Elkabong, down to 1 HP. This battle really, really is over. He goes ahead and uses Thunderbolt. I mean, why not? So Thunderbolt's going to take out Elkabong, and... I believe that is now the end of the battle. So yeah, I was completely unprepared for a Baton Pass team. Uh, I just hadn't seen it before, and now that I've seen it, I'll know what to look for, and I'll hopefully be able to counter it. So I hope you enjoyed watching me get slaughtered. Uh, I'm on vacation next week, so no new battles next week, but the week after I'll have more. So uh, have a nice week, have a nice Thanksgiving, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.